This question requires mastery of the pH-POH equations that we've covered elsewhere in this chapter. To begin, the question asks us what the pOH is under this set of conditions. How do we determine that? Well, it helps to remember this equation that pOH plus pH equals 14. If we have that equation in our minds, using simple algebra, we should see that, taking pH to the, to the other side, pOH is equal to 14 minus pH. You follow that, okay? With this in our minds, you can see that if we can take the information given and use it to identify pH, then we could take pH and insert it into this equation. 14 minus that equals pOH. You see where we're going? So what have we been given? We've been given the hydronium or H3O plus concentration in this set of circumstances. According to another equation that we should know, pH is equal to the negative log base 10 of hydronium or H3O plus. Thus, we can translate that over here to negative log of the hydronium concentration 3.98 times 10 to the minus three. I threw that in my calculator earlier and I determined that this number, and don't forget your negative sign here, comes to 2.400. Here is our pH. I'm gonna take this number and insert it back up into this equation. Thus, pOH is gonna equal 14 minus pH or 14 minus 2.400. You do that, you end up getting an answer of 11.60 which lines up with answer D.